Quick video on voltage drop testing and a couple of different ways you can do it using a multimeter and also just a, a visual display using a test light as well. So we've got our multimeter here, it's set up to DC volts. We have the multimeter red lead already uh, plugged in on the positive side and we're going to be going to the direct to the terminal on the ground side now and we'll get a reading here on what this battery voltage is. So we have a battery voltage of 12.7 at the battery. So on this instance, we can do a simple check of moving the lead from the actual terminal on to the battery lead itself. And if we do that, we can see we're not getting that 12 volts coming through. We actually are showing a voltage drop. Now, another way of doing the voltage drop is using the two same leads from the terminal across to the actual lead and getting a reading. And what we get there is a voltage drop of 11.8, demonstrating we have a massive voltage drop across this negative side of the battery. Now that should be zero or as close to it as possible for a good result. And if we look down here, we can see we can have corrosion. And what you can easily do in those instances is a wiggle test. But just before I do that wiggle test, I'm going to display using a test light what that would look like if you're checking for a voltage loss using a test light as well. So I'm going to be going from the positive to the negative on the battery. You can see we have a nice illuminated light. This doesn't have any LCD display with actual voltage coming through. It's an incandescent globe. So it will either light very dull or not at all should we have a voltage drop. And as you can see there, when I'm on to the lead itself, we have no light coming through. Go on to the terminal, we have a light. Now, if we put the multimeter back into the positive, we go on to the lead again, and I do a wiggle test on that lead. Now we can see we have voltage coming through on that. And that's a quick demonstration of how you can do voltage drop testing using a multimeter or a test light on any vehicle. And now I'm just going to do a quick test afterwards. So this is all cleaned up here. I have reclamped that nice and secure so there's no movement whatsoever on the negative. And we're just going to show these results post repair so you can have an idea of what to look for so directly on to the positive again that's nice and secure we go on to the terminal we confirm we have battery voltage that's 12.68 perfect now we're going to move it and we're going to go on to that side of the post and again we have perfect voltage coming through so the other way of doing it directly onto the terminal and then onto the lead and we have voltage drop of zero. So no voltage drop across that showing an excellent result and what we would want to see when doing these tests. The other one is with the test light. So we'll put that onto the positive. And again, the results of this is just simply looking for the light that doesn't have a digital display. So we're looking for the brightness of that uh, globe. So that bulb shining through nice and bright. When we put it on to the lead, we're showing we have the same brightness. So it isn't dimming or dulling in any way. We have a nice flow through both sides of that. And that is it for this video. That's a quick demonstration of voltage drop showing a bad and showing a good result and something you should implement in your testing, especially if you're working with electrical systems. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.